we went from 150 grand a month to around 450 grand this month and, and that's the most challenging month we we have ahead we turn up the whole business and we still made a lot more than what we ever made before and that's going to continue since we um, started our business we really put a lot of effort into the website because we believed in the future of our website uh, into a level that it's always ticked along around 50 percent of the revenue 40 percent of the revenue it's never really managed to pick up above that uh, and therefore we always had the question um well that's mean that brick and mortar is always the way to go about our business because we just need to have multiple stores everywhere in australia and that's the only concept that's going to work and the website is just going to be the the back end of it for people that want to browse at home and then come to the store um so since we joined the uh, entourage the other program we always had that question in mind of you know how do we how do we shift a bit more to the to the online the more we shift into the online the more the in-store grow it's, it's just been like um uh, like a, a balancing act the whole time and then COVID-19 came <laughs> we basically had uh, like we could see how we have very short time to move everything from that brick and mortar store that back then was around 60% of our revenue and just completely shut it off and move everything to online now how do you do that yes we wanted to do it for so long but how do you do it that's that's always been a big question mark how do you train the customer how do you get them to call us or to make an order over the phone changing their experience in there to really be the same as the brick and mortar store and that's um to do that very quickly and not on the course of like one to two years and plan for it in strategy that's definitely been one of the hardest things when I noticed that things going around the world, I thought, okay, let's make a plan of what's going to happen in other countries if my store will be there. So I created stage one, two, three, four of closure, and I tried to look for products that will basically keep us surviving as an essential business um, it, in case it's come to Australia. A week after everything happening here, I was like, okay, I already have a little bit of a plan. Let's work now on everything, how we're moving that online and how we're pushing those specific products that are essential straight into the face of as many customers as we can online uh, and that's what we've done um, and then uh, a lot of preparation for our sales team so basically what we've done is we repurpose our sales team to be a over the phone consultant versus actually being um, salespeople in store a week and a half after we decided to um, close the store and we did and um, yes we did obviously lost a little bit of um, sales from that sales channel but what we've done is we worked very, very hard with every single person that think to move that all revenue into um, the online. So not enough that we moved all of that revenue, we tripled that revenue. So from an average month of like, I think the best month we ever had in the past six years since I owned the business, it's been 200 um, grand a month. That's like the highest, highest, highest ever. Uh, this month we're standing on 440. So that's like, Moving from an average month of 150 to 200, now we're standing on 440, and it's actually the new standard. So um, that's increase of that, that's that's insane. That's more than what I wanted for. I just wanted to move that 50% from here to there, and instead of that, we just tripled that, it and it's it's amazing. And it's all because we were planning for it. Like we we actually done things to make that happen versus just sticking along because this is what you do in business. Sometimes you're just sticking along. And now it was like a game on and we just do everything we can and the whole team was fully engaged and, and that's something i learned from the entourage a lot is sometimes you need to just pause close yourself in the door like close in the office and just think how you like how in a strategic way you go through all that period sharon always say to me sharon slow down take a deep breath and just you know get focused again and she definitely helped me to get focused a lot in the past few weeks and, and few months so uh, yeah it's definitely the the one on one of sharing helped a lot and the community no matter which community it is but like-minded community if there is one thing that i'm so grateful the amount of conversation i have on one-on-one -on -one with other members is is insane like we're helping each other not even in the regular platform just by having a chat and see oh this is what's going on for me do, do you have any tips or or, or just using other people, professional uh, or businesses to help you out through that period and back up each other. Definitely that community, the biggest powerful thing that we had this time. I think that what really make a difference now is that I really got focused with the work with Sharon and also with all the things that came from the entourage with all this COVID-19 that I could, I could look at the whole situation and say, I can navigate it through this, this, this and this. And I could see very, very clearly what is the low hanging fruit what is need to be worried about later on down the track 
what I need to tackle now today, even if it's me like no sleep, it have to happen now so other things will happen. You need to take the proactive approach and not just wait until everything will sort itself because it's never going to happen. And there is no difference between a competitor opening next door to you or if there is a coronavirus just came in. It's exactly the same thing. You just need to, you, you tackle it the same way.